Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of communist Canada here in Victoria 2. Last episode, we watched Germany win an easy war against Scandinavia and Russia and then lose a hard war against France, who's way stronger. Look at this. 897 military strength versus 354 military strength. It wasn't even close. Germany surrendered within you know weeks of the war starting. France took 11 infamy to take the state of Baden. I'm not sure if Baden is any good. How much industry does it have? Well, it's not even on his list, so it must not be that good. But it was a border state, so he took it. Ireland got free via rebels. So that's cool. And we're currently kicking the USA out of Hawaii and Mexico as much as we can. Most likely they'll sneak in and get one of them anyway. It looks like France is trying to wiggle... And that's not... Yeah, France is trying to weasel his way into Brazil, but we can keep kicking him out. Italy has declared on the Danubian... Oh, what's this? Channel Islands. Oh, cool. Oh, we have the Channel Islands. Look at that. Fancy that. Italy has declared a war on the Danubian Confederation for all of his cores, and somehow he's losing that war. He's got France helping him. I don't know. AI dumb? AI dumb. That's my final answer. But yeah, France is helping Italy to get his cores back from the Danube Confederation, which is what's left of Austria-Hungary. I don't know if they're going to win, but they should. I mean, their score... Nope, they white-pieced. Their score is immensely higher, but they lost anyway. Wow. Hey, Britannia has fallen. No longer the United Kingdom, now it's just Republic of Britannia, and he's fallen. Italy is now a great power, which means I can sphere Britain. That's adorable. I can't do it right now. Oh, I can. Oh, but their pop is too big, isn't it? Well, let's see if it, let's see if it goes anywhere at all. Their pop might be too big to influence them. I think their pop is too big. Yeah. That's to be expected. Damn, USA is really pushing hard at Mexico. So who's going to win in Russia? It's going to be the communists. Russia's going to go communist, everyone. They're not going to last as a communist state, though. Because they have no way to kill those fascist rebels. So they're going to flip to communist, and then they're going to flip again to fascist. Alright, so ban France. Get the fuck out of there, piece of shit. Ban USA. Get the fuck out of there. Stupid USA fucking up all my plans. Hey, synthetic polymers. Nice. Let's get uh, the last tier of railroads. So now that you're a great power, do you want your alliance back? Sure do. All right, we're working on France to get uh, relations up. I might ally him at some point. Maybe not. We'll see. Working on influencing Ireland, because why not? Afghanistan has collapsed. Well, that's just too bad. And he's got rebels again. He just collapsed, and he's got more rebels. Poor Afghanistan. USA wants to eat land from Morocco. Okay. Sure. Have fun with that. Check our industry. Upgrade factories that need it. All of the tank factories are upgrading. That's fantastic. I think I want to upgrade the automobile factories as well. And the machine parts. Anything that we use a lot of. Like liquor. Artillery. Fuck. Just upgrade them all.
Man, these factories. Look at that profit. Damn. It's just so nice seeing those big profit margins. Airplane factories, nice and profitable too. Even even only level 2 and level 4, they're nice and profitable. Radio factories, nice and profitable. Oh, Washington State is producing cars. It's the only factory they have is a car plant. Wow. Well, if it works... All right. I wonder if Britain's going to come back as a great power. They they easily could. With all that land they have in India, they easily could come back as a great power. However, I'm also hoping for Indian pan-nationalists here. Like you can see in the Indian states, there's Indian pan-nationalists everywhere. But I don't think they can counter siege the British fascist sieges. Like, they have to wait for Britain to kill them, but they won't kill them. So the Indian pan-nationalist rebels, which are they are everywhere in the Indian states here, they can't get anything done. They just can't. It's really awkward. Oh, China's up to rank 10. China's going to be a great power soon. His industrial base must be growing massively. He's just building everywhere. It looks like the later part of the game is just going to be kicking USA out of Mexico and Hawaii just indefinitely. Okay, artillery attack. Very good. Artillery. Or, or, oh, tank attack. Plus two. Very nice. Tank attack. Plus two. Oh, Britain's got more rebels. What are they? Fascists? Jacobins. Damn it. So Jacobins are going to make Britain collapse again. Do you have any Scottish nationalists? Nope. Just Jacobins. All right. Oh, Egypt finally westernized. Congratulations. Ethiopia's trying. Diviet westernized. Burma westernized. Siam westernized, but they've lost all their land. Oh, Johore westernized. Wow, they never live long enough to westernize. That's kind of cool. Tibet's trying to westernize. Punjab's trying to westernize. What's the nation of the Netherlands? That is Flanders, and then Belgium. Oh, Britain collapsed again. He is now Great Britain again. He's a democracy. Interesting. The radical power. And there goes Russia. He is now communist, am I right? He's going to be Soviet Union? Oh, he went fascist instead. My bad. I love the Russian fascist flag. That is a great flag. But the communists, yeah, the communists are going to win because they have control of the capital. So that's fun. Russian, Russian fascists and then Russian communists right away. Oh, China declared war on Russia. And Romania declared war on Russia. Oh, goodness. Right, because when Russia collapsed, they lost all of their allies. Oh, France allied the USA. Oh, this is great. We could have a, a great war between... Uh, well, whoever else I ally. Italy, Germany. I could see if I can get the Danube Confederation. Oh, they will. Okay. Perfect. USA declare on Morocco. So I can get Germany, the Danubians, and Italy all to fight France while I fight the USA. And that'll be a great war. And that's how we get Washington State. Or not Oregon State. That's how we get that. Yes. What else do I want from you, by the way? I want all your stuff. Georgia, Kentucky, Ohio... Tennessee, Massachusetts, Missouri, Indiana, Illinois, 
Virginia and Louisiana. Hmm. Probably just go for Ohio, because it's right here. Maybe Massachusetts for the nice port of Boston. But definitely Oregon. Interesting. Take land from France. Yeah, France has a ton of really good industrial land. Look at look at Normandy, 358. Yeah, I can't pass that up. And Brittany's not bad at 200. That would be 7.2 infamy. Just trying to calculate in my head how much room we need for infamy. Oregon's 3.6. Normandy would be another 3.6. So that's 7.2. Hawaii has rebels. That's fine. Let them have rebels. Let them have rebels. I, I'm not going to go do anything about it. I can't get access. He won't give me access. He won't even give me an alliance. We just allied Spain for some reason. I don't think he has an army. Eh, a little bit. He'll just be a punching bag, essentially. What do you need to colonize? You need certain techs. You just gotta focus on certain techs, that's all. Crisis in Croatia, oh fun. All right, we can finally get max level railroads. Lovely. Let's build them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Max level railroads and max level forts as well. Very nice. Not sure how much of a difference it makes having the max level railroads, but it's probably a couple percentage points better on the factories. I'll take it. Oh man, so many places to upgrade. Oh, Washington State. Can't forget Washington State. Oh God. So many. So many. It's too many. Nah, it's okay. We'll get through this. You'll see. All the railroads. All the railroads. If only you could just click once and have it do the entire nation. Instead of having to do one state at a time. At least it's not one county at a time. Damn. Oh, I forgot about the Suez Canal. Whoops. We'll get it. We'll get you, Suez. Don't you worry. There's the little Suez. Oh, they're already upgrading. Never mind. Did not forget about it. They're just busy. I wonder who's going to join against Serbia here. He's got... No, I can't do that. Yeah, crisis averted. Figures. Hey, artillery attack plus 0.1. Very nice. Come on, the communists already have your capital. Just collapse already. Oh, colonial incident. What's this? On Great Britain. <laughs> Place in the sun on Great Britain. Oh, my God. Oh, we got another focus point. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Another focus point. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep upgrading the forts. Or not the forts, the factories. 
So the colonial incident gives you a free CB on someone, but it has to, anything you take from them has to be a colonial province, or else it'll cost you 11 infamy. So this is all states down here. Yeah, all of these are states. Yep, yeah, everything over here is a state. So we could take New Guinea, which might might be pretty good. Could probably take some of India. Yeah, these aren't states. Could take a chunk of India. That'd be nice. It's really high pop. Hmm. Two million people. Seven hundred seventy k. One point six million people. God. So nice pop. What about up here? 800k, 800k, 2.6 million, and 2.29 million. Wow, the pop is so good in Bengal. Oh, I wish we could do this war. That's just not feasible. God, that'd be so nice. The problem is the CB only lasts for one year, and I need to keep burning infamy. So I don't think this makes any sense. If I do this, then it has to be like a really, really... Well, he did just collapse, but it has to be like a really, really quick war. Um... And I wonder what we would take. Maybe Bombay. Has to be something with a port. Could do Bombay. Or we could do here. We're not really importing dyes, though. And that's all they have over here is dyes. What about here? It's decent pop. And it has a port. I'm not entirely sold. What about Madras? It's just all dyes. Oh, and some tea. Ah, it's very hit or miss. Take Ceylon. I'm not sure if I want Ceylon. The pop is kind of small here. No, I don't want I don't want something with pop that small. If we take anything, it's gonna be good pop stuff. Hmm. How's Sin doing? That's pretty low pop. I need coffee, not tea. Um, it's not one of our top imports. We import timber, cement, and fruit. I don't think Britain has much land with timber. So I don't think we can really do that. Now, what about over here? What's this? Grain? No. There's no timber. I think I would take South Bengal, and then maybe we can take North Bengal at a later date. Why not Hong Kong? Because China owns it. They have to do a deal with Britain to give it over to Britain. They never did that deal. Oh, we could do one of the colonial states down here. Zambia, but the pop is so low. Yeah, the pop is just crap. Oh, some of these are actual states. Yeah, some of these, he's turned some of these into states. Hmm. That's a state. These are all states. These are all states. Damn it. How much war score would this be? I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Do I still have a truce? Yes, I do. But it ends in April. Oh, it ends next, it ends in two years, so my truce won't even, I'll take it, but I don't think I can even declare the war, because my truce won't be up. Oh, I can, okay. South Bengal, 10 war score. All right. Let's make it real quick. I don't want to sit around on my hands. It's better be a really quick war. Let's 
Let's go blockade. Spain collapsed again. He's good at it. Just going to finish the blockade, that's all. Man, London takes a while to fall. You must have a giant fort there. Now it's just level 5. This must not be a very good sieging army, because this one is sieging really quickly. Oh, that's what it is. There's no airplanes. Okay. There's no airplanes, so the siege takes forever. Let me build some more airplanes over here. In Britain, please. Eh, four should be fine. Come on, quick war. I want peace. Should be relatively quick. Right? We're at 16 war score. S uh, Switzerland's the war leader. <laughs> Britain's not the war leader. Switzerland is the war leader. That's how weak Britain is. Switzerland has become the war leader. Like, what? Not even pay attention to influence right now. There you go. Fantastic. Welcome to South Bengal. We have inherited a nice naval base. Hello. Well, that was really quick. I like it. Okay, what do people want? 10%. Nobody. Okay. I like it. We get a huge amount of pop over here. It's like 4 million people. And we get um, a nice naval base here in Calcutta. Let's build a small army here. make a collection point here in Calcutta. Just a small army in case we get some rebels. Alright, get the fuck out of there. Ireland still does not want an alliance. Alright. I think I'm just going to ban the USA and Mexico again. What's up in the Ottomans? Opposed, hostile, neutral, 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 neutral. Uh, let's get Italy down a bit. If Indian pan nationalists spawn, why I let them succeed? 
Not in my lands, no. It's not my lands that are tough for them. It's the British lands that are tough for them. Because Britain has so many rebels that he never that he never puts down that the Indian Pan Nationalists can never actually siege anything because all the land is already sieged. That's the problem, is the land is already sieged, so the Indian Pan Nationalists, they can't actually do anything. Like, I should take that mission to go beat up Nepal. Oh, they're they're communists. And by beating up Nepal, I can... Oh, there's, there goes China. By beating up Nepal, I can get rid of his Indian pan-nationalist rebels, and then maybe he'll be a little more successful. Maybe. Looks like we're going to sphere Venezuela. Maybe. I'm going to go balls deep on Venezuela, because I don't want the USA to get it. Who's got Colombia? Is it... Uh, nobody. Yeah, nobody. Interesting. France is going to get it. That's fine. France, you can have it. I'll go for Colombia later. Timer? Yeah, yeah. It's always the timer. But yeah, France allying the USA is really good for us. That's really good. It means we can have a great war with the USA. Which you normally wouldn't be able to do. Because the USA never allies great powers. But this time they did. And it looks like Russia is going to lose these wars, aren't they? China... And Romania. Oh, man. You know, the Ottomans have cores here. The Ottomans should go in as well. Persia should go get their cores back, too. I mean, Russia's just so weak. Everyone should be going. I don't know why Persia hasn't declared yet. But we are out of time for the episode, so thank you so much for joining me. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the lands of Communist Canada. I'll see you then. Have a good day.